Shalom, brothers and sisters. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you. From Yahuwah, our Father, and Yahusha, the Mashaya, he is the one who carries the burden of Yah, his voice, our high priest, soon coming king. Hear, O Yeshua, Yahuwah, who is our mighty one, he is one. There is no other mighty one, brothers and sisters, than Yahuwah. And Yahusha is his voice. This is Brother Dawood coming to you again with a report. Hidash. There she is. I see it. The moon has become visible in the western sky. Praise, glory, wisdom, and thanks be unto he who is seated upon the throne. Yahuwah. You know, before I came to the way, I am, I'll be 61 in a few days. And before I came to the way, I never looked up in the sky. I paid no attention to the heavenly bodies. But now, every single month that I spot this event, I get excited. I mean, it never loses its power. One second, nothing. Then all of a sudden, she appears. And this time she appeared higher in the sky than usual. She also appeared in a different location. Hmm. She moved far to the right. Did you guys notice that? See, I have my location where I am mapped out. I know all of the places where it will appear. This time she moved far to the right. She was higher in the sky in her trajectory. And I said to myself, this looks like a second day. Then all of a sudden I realized the sun is about to have its new year. There's going to be equal day and equal night. Yeah. So maybe that's the reason why she was so high in the sky and moved so much further to the right than she was last month. But one of the things that I want to show you is that when you're not sure and you think that maybe you are on the second day, you can go to Moon Giant and prove it. March the 7th equals a 14-day lunar count. What are you talking about, Brother Dawood? Well, Hanuk, our guide, the one whom Yah has given us to show us how to find his days in the end times, he told us that the sun will become full on the 14th day. Do your count. Start from the 22nd new moon's day and count from there as day one and count 14 days. You'll see it comes to March 7th. When you go to Moon Giant, it'll be 100% illumination on the 15th day 
March 8th, the moon begins to wane. Exactly. Like Hanuk said. Did you know for Passover, Passa, we had two full moons. On the 14th day and the 15th day. Was that a coincidence? I think not. So anytime you want to prove your sighting, you count from New Moon's Day, 14 days, your light should be full. If your light is not full, then something's wrong. You have to go back and revisit and retrace all of your steps. Let's take a look at some sightings. Sister Deborah, she's in Arizona. Isn't that a beautiful sky? Yeah. She caught the moon in the clouds. Beautiful shot. I don't have her time, but she's in Arizona. Sister Thornton, her time is 5.55. She's in Alabama. It's hard to see. I had to blow it up a little so that I could see it. But do you see the transformer on the pole? And the bottom of the transformer, if you look a little bit to your left, it's right there. She caught it while it was in the haze. Sister Daya, North Carolina, 615. There she is, Asanya. Princess Maya, Florida, 630. Brother Carlin, also in Arizona, 635. Brother Dash, he's in Cali. He started at 615. He gave us two picks. Yeah. See the first one over there? In the big sky? I mean... That is a big sky. <laughs> I wish I had skies like that here. <laughs> but he's caught the moon and the star above the moon. But look in the second pick. He caught two stars in this pick with the moon right above the haze. Now, I tell you the truth. It's been maybe five years, six years or so I've been doing this. I've never saw two stars pointing towards the moon before. Brother Kuya, North Carolina, 615. There's the star. There's the moon. Brother Michael, Virginia, 558, there's the star, there's the moon. Brother Xavier, also in Virginia, 607, there's the star, there's the moon. Brother Kuya's calendar. Thank you, Brother Kuya. For this visual aid, we're going to jump directly into it. Identify 21 on this calendar. Mm -hmm. It's in yellow. That's Pope Gregory's calendar. Look to the right. You'll see a 30 there. That's the lunar calendar. The calendar that's in the sky. Brother Kuya has overlaid the lunar calendar on top of Pope Gregory's calendar so that you can find the days in this matrix that was created just for you. Which makes our new moon day, because we spotted the moon in the evening of the 21st, our new moon's day would be the 22nd. How does a day work? 
according to the lunar calendar, not the solar calendar. You see, the solar calendar is from sunrise to sunrise. The lunar calendar is from sunset to sunset. You got me? So the moon came out in the evening of the 21st, which is like the lunar morning. Matter of fact, it kind of looks like the morning, but it's in the evening. And you count from the evening to the next evening is a complete lunar day. So the 22nd is New Moon's Day. For this month, we have four Shabbats left. Four Shabbats. How many Shabbats did we have left over from last month? If you said one, you are correct. This will make five. So we have two more to go. And then we will announce the date for the Feast of Weeks. Or let's use this term instead. Pentecost. Because everyone understands what Pentecost is because we all came from the church. It was the day when the Holy Spirit was poured out. It's the same day as the Feast of Weeks. Shalom.